In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve groin muscle pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I want to show multiple groin pain relief exercises that are geared towards getting quick pain relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. All of these exercises hit the pelvic and groin areas just a little bit differently. They're going to focus on different muscles, so make sure to go through all of them. Take what is most effective for you. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home, do not require any special equipment. So let's get started and fix that groin pain right now. Here is a great groin exercise that you can do in bed or on the floor. I really like this one because it puts a lot of dynamic motion into the pelvis, hips, and groin to help stretch and strengthen things in such a little amount of time. Let's start off on our back just like this. I'm going to bend the knees, keep my feet flat. Let's straighten one leg out at the knee like this. During this exercise, we want to keep this knee as straight as possible. You'll get better results. Take your hands, put them on the back of the leg, right over the hamstring, and then pull the leg up towards the ceiling. The goal is to have this leg pretty much straight up towards the ceiling. If you're not able to get up there, go as far as you're able to go. From here, we're going to feel a very good stretch into the back of the leg, the hamstring going up into the knee. You can hold this for a couple seconds if you feel good, if it does feel good. From here, we want to take this straight leg 45 degrees away from the body. So I'm going to just lower it towards my side very, very slowly. It should take you about five seconds. When you do this, focus on feeling it inside the leg right here over those adductor muscles. You should feel a lot of things firing into the groin and on the inside of the leg. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. From here, we're just going to kind of swing the leg forward like this and then repeat. On the next repetition, try to drive the leg back even further. Activate those hamstrings and those muscles and then again, slowly go down. You want to do this very, very slowly for about 10 to 15 complete repetitions challenging yourself with each repetition to go a little bit further with it. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. Here is a great groin pain relief exercise known as a half kneel rock back. We can do this one on the floor, starting off on all fours just like this. Make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath your knees too for extra comfort. The first movement is going to be very easy. I'm just going to straighten one leg, place the leg roughly 45 degrees away from the body, so straight out. During this exercise, keep the knees straight as possible. You'll get better results and try to keep the foot planted firmly on the floor. Just slide the foot away from the body as much as you can. The more that you slide the foot away, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt inside the leg, into the pelvis, into the groin. Really focus on that. Once you feel a great stretch, this is how we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to rock the whole body backwards, kind of like taking my butt down towards my heels. And this becomes a very deep stretch. So again, only to your comfort level. Once we get that great stretch, let's hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, just rock back, take a breather. On the next repetition, try to slide your foot away just a little bit more and rock your body into it to get that better stretch. You want to do this for three to five repetitions. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. Here's a groin pain relief exercise that I really like because it puts a lot of dynamic motion into the hips, the pelvis, into the groin to help really identify movements and help target tight achy muscles just a little bit easier. It's called a groin slider. We are going to use something that's going to help take friction out of this movement. So if you have carpeted floors, you can use a piece of cardboard, a paper plate. I'm going to be using a furniture mover. If you have hardwood floors, just throw a towel underneath your foot. So I'm going to start with very good upright posture. My hands go on my hips like this. Whatever leg has the slider underneath it, we're going to keep that knee bent and take it out 45 degrees away from the body, so straight out from the body. The other leg's knee can go slightly bent. When you do this, the more that you slide the foot out, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt inside the inner part of the leg, into the groin, into the pelvis, so really focus on that. And if you do have difficulty while doing this exercise, you can have a chair right here or do it next to a door or a wall, but go towards a very good stretch, hold that for about five seconds, and then slowly come back just like this, and then you're just going to repeat. On the next repetition, go out just a little bit further with it, challenge those muscles. But you want to do this nice and slow for about 10 complete repetitions. How we can take this one to the next level is to incorporate kind of an arc motion into it. So I'm going to, instead of going straight out with it, I'm going to take it slightly back like this and then do the same thing. 
you'll notice that the muscles into the groin get hit just a little bit differently. So I do that and then I just go at a little bit of a different angle from there until the point where I'm going all the way towards the front. So a complete arc going from the back all the way towards the front. Make note of any movement that just feels very, very tight and achy. Maybe it's hitting that uh, groin area just a little bit better. You want to throw more repetitions in at that point. But do that, find the spots that need it the most, and when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So this exercise is known as a side lunge groin stretch, and I'm going to start off on my knee, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath it for extra comfort. The other knee is also going to go bent at 90 degrees. The foot is going to be flat on the floor. The goal with this exercise is to take the forward bent knee right here and swing it off to our side, almost like 45 degrees out to the point where it is in line with our ear. So I'm just going to take my foot and slowly inch this knee outwards as much as I can. The more that we swing this knee out, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt into the groin, into the pelvis. So go out as far as you feel comfortable. If you're not able to go all the way out, just go as far as you feel comfortable. With each repetition, you'll notice that you have a little bit more flexibility. So right here is about as much as I uh, am able to go out, and I really feel it into the groin, into the pelvis. This is how we're going to take it to the next level. I'm going to put my hands on my hips, and then in a straight line with my knee, I'm going to lunge my body towards the side. And this really intensifies that stretch into the groin, so only go to your comfort level. Once we hit a very deep but comfortable stretch, let's hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather. On the next repetition, you're going to notice you have a little bit more flexibility to take that knee out. So challenge yourself to get that initial stretch a little bit more each time and then lunge into it. You want to do this for three to five complete repetitions. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So here is a really easy groin pain relief exercise that you can do next to a wall. What I'm going to do is start off with my back flat against the wall to help support it. That way we have everything relaxed and we can really target and isolate the pelvic muscles and also into the groin. My feet are going to go together and I'm just going to slide my heels back towards me as much as I can. This will cause an initial stretch to happen into the pelvis, into the groin. From there I'm going to go into a prayer like position. So my hands go together just like this and I'm going to place my elbows on the inside of the knees just like this. The goal is to lower the hands down, which will cause our elbows to press into the knees, winging them down towards the floor. The more that the knees go down, the more intense this stretch is going to get. So let's start off right at the knees and do this. Only go to a comfortable stretch. You want to hold this for about 20 seconds. From there, you're going to relax. On the next repetition, lower the elbows down on the legs just a little bit more. That will cause this to become a more intense stretch. But you want to do this for three to five repetitions and always challenge yourself to get a better stretch in there. If you want to take this one to the next level, we can incorporate a little bit more of a squat position into it. So I'm going to go up onto my toes just like this into a squatting position. My hands are going to go into that prayer position again. My elbows go right into the knees. My weight is going to be right on my toes because we're going to shift the weight back and forth to make this a dynamic movement. So let's press into the knees as much as we can to get that initial stretch into the groin. But this time around, I'm going to lean my body a little bit towards my right. When you do this, you're going to feel the muscles get hit just a little bit differently, even more so on the right side. So again, go to your comfort level, try to get a very deep stretch, and hold this for about 20 seconds. From there, just go all the way towards the left as much as you feel comfortable and repeat. From there, you can go side to side. Target any spots, like let's say on my left side, it just feels more tight and achy, a little bit more weak. I just want to focus on that and throw more repetitions in, but explore it and target the spots that you feel need it the most, and I hope this gives very quick groin pain relief. If the exercise has helped and gave you relief, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching.